Okay, so today we're going to talk about the TPT slide. Um, we're going to do a quick review. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. And then we're going to talk about uh, why you might want to carry a utility knife in general. In addition, maybe to your pocket knife, in addition to your Victorinex or your Leatherman. And yeah, the TPT slide comes in this package. And um, you get a leather sleeve with two one this blade is pre-installed this is not sharpened and this is supposed to be a camping fork and then i think you have a spare one which is just black with a hole in it i don't know what for but that's there and you get this leather sleeve and what's very cool about big, big idea design with the pen i got from them as well you get spares and there are other companies out there who sell similar items at a similar price and they don't include any spares so that's a big thumbs up for me so let's get into it. This is just a little utility blade. It's very smooth. I opened it up once uh, when I got it and oiled it and removed some gunk. Um, works like a charm. Um, this mechanism up here is very, very intuitive and it, it works. It, it just works well. I thought it would be loose or something, but no, that is very good. The pocket clip I don't like so much because um, when you it sticks out like this much from your pants, this is a little too much for me. Um, this is why I attach this, and I I always have it like with this um, KeySmart Nano in my in my pants. But I'm gonna remove that. And I'm also gonna remove that pocket clip because you can do that actually. So I'm go just gonna have this little bar in my pocket, and I'm gonna see how that. How that feels um, when it arrived it was off the two pieces you see this, the, these are two slabs of titanium screwed together they were like uh, off because the bend on the on the pocket clip I don't know if I have photos maybe I'll, in, I'll, I'll, I'll show you but the bend was too strong so basically what happened when you put the two slabs together the bend the, of, the, of the clip pushed one this titanium piece further out and what they did is they just forced the screws in there so this whole thing was like wonky and I took it apart took the pocket clip out relieved the bend a little and now it's and now it's perfect this I wasn't too happy about it because you know but on the other hand, you get extra screws. It was fixable, it, no big deal. And I'm gonna remove the pocket clip now anyway. Another thing that kinda, I wasn't too happy about it. I'm gonna remove that whilst I talk. Um, I asked a question on the um, Big Idea Design website, whether there was any mechanism to basically prevent the blade from riding against the titanium down there and dulling the blade. And they said, I'm just going to show you, they replied that there's a magnet in the, in the thing that helps uh, lift the blade from, from the titanium. I, I, it's just, that's just not true. I'm going to show you why. There is your mechanism that moves the blade. And there's this little pin. I have heard, I have read that if you lose that pin, that pin is um, necessary to keep the, I'm just gonna use the tweezers here, to keep the pocket clip in place. And if you lose that, you're gonna have a problem. But um, people wrote that they've lost it and Big Idea Design just send them a, a pin free of charge, which is uh, very cool. So just keep in mind, if you take it apart, this pin, if you lose it, you're, you, <laughs> you're gonna have to ask for a new one. Okay, and then, then you can remove the clip. Okay. We're gonna clean this a little and oil it later, but I wanna show you uh, what I meant. And actually I have some uh, suggestions or one suggestion for Big Idea Design to change about this, be, then it would be perfect. And if they don't change it, then I'm gonna tell you what you can do to, to make this a little bit better for you. So basically here is the magnet. This magnet, I mean, you don't have to be a, a physicist to, to know that this magnet pulls the blade in this direction, not up. So the blade rides against this titanium uh, bar down there because you push it down with the mechanism, you, when you, with, the, with, the, with the sliding thing. So this sits on the blade, you push it down. Well, 
somehow sits on the blade it's in there whatever but you push it down so this rides against the titanium at all times what they should do in my opinion is do a relief cut so that this uh this line just goes a little bit down here so that the titanium doesn't ride against the blade in the front because you only going to use the front of the blade anyways you know it, it's only going to go out like this far so if you relieve like a centimeter here from the titanium you still have enough uh, room for the blade to ride on but your blade isn't going to dull what i did is i don't know if you can probably see it i just removed a little bit of steel from the tip of the the the, the blade here i sharpened it i removed some material and now the actual cutting surface the the, the edge doesn't run on the titanium. I don't have many hair, but I can show you it is still razor sharp. Well, a little bit used, obviously, but it still shaves hair after you just saw me um, rub it against that thing. So if you get a, a TPT slide, maybe you want to sharpen this a little bit so uh, you get a longer, uh, the edge retention will be a lot better because I noticed when I didn't do that I noticed the blade dulling quite quickly actually I get the problem that those blades rust on me I would like to get some utility blades that don't rust um, I haven't found any yet so please if you know of any please let me know so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do we're gonna remove the pocket clip we're gonna remove the pin we remove the other clip we're gonna clean those screws from the Loctite I put on them and then we're gonna oil it and put it back together. Okay, works like a charm. Good. Um, other features of the TPT slide, the pry bar here, let's put that away. The pry bar is good. I used it a couple of times, it's nice. Then you have your lane yard hole where I had this um, um, KeySmart Nano. And then you have your hex bit driver, which is kind of a gimmick because um, what are you gonna do? Let me grab a bit. Do you have a, do you have a bit here somewhere? I actually do. You're gonna use it. Yeah, you can't, you have some force like this, but you, if you have Torx screws, then yes. But if you have a Phillips head, then you need to hold it like this and apply pressure with your thumb because otherwise you're gonna get, I never used it. I Most of the time I have a screwdriver or my Leatherman at hand, then I use that. This is just, I would rather see actually this part removed so that the, the, the pocket clip, if that would be removed here, the pocket clip would be much higher in relation to the item itself and then it wouldn't ride so high in the pocket. So I would prefer that. You would lose maybe the pry bar, but yeah. This acts as a bottle opener, a cap opener, which is actually amazingly um, thought out because you, you have just just enough room to fit the bottle cap in there and not uh, apply pressure to the blade. This is pretty cool. So, all in all, I like this. I love it actually. And now we're gonna talk about why I carry it in addition to so many blades that I already have. You guys know, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I carry a lot of, sh a lot of crap with me all day. I carry usually one Leatherman, well, usually at all times, the Leatherman signal is in my bag. I have one Victorinox and it depends lately, it depends if I carry a dedicated pocket knife. Why? What do I use the blades for? Um, the, the Victorinox doesn't have the hardest steel, so this is very, very, very sharp. I, but um, I use that for, for food prep mainly because foods are not that hard. I'm, go I'm not gonna damage my blade. I don't have to have super edge retention and the blade is gonna stay clean. I always wipe them down in case you're wondering. Nobody's gonna wonder, but I'm telling you anyway. So I'm always gonna wipe them down with some alcohol wipes so that the blade is clean for my food prep. And then you see, I just, you see that? Very, very sharp. But um, then the blade doesn't touch anything in there. So it is kind of always clean, you know what I mean? Pocket lint, yeah, but it's gonna be wiped down all the time. I'm gonna, I'm using that for food prep. The Leatherman, I do not always have a Leatherman on my belt. It depends on where I am. Um, and I don't wanna get out my signal from my bag to, to cut some stuff. So 
usually I carry this uh, pocket knife, but most of you guys, you have fancy pocket knives, you like your pocket knife, you want to keep them pristine, we have mirror edges and whatnot, you know. And then I ran into a situation where I had a rehearsal and we, we opened some packages and, and people know I'm the guy with the pocket knife, can you hand me your knife to open the package? And we open packages with our knives, this is the 90% of the task we do with our pocket knives. But I did not know that it, on, the, on the box below the tape there were some metal, metal clamps and I didn't see them and nobody saw them and I would have cut through the, through the tape myself. So. I don't even blame the other guys that used my knife to do it. But what they did is they cut through the tape and the, the blade uh, hit the, the, the metal clamps a couple of times. I had so many nicks in the blade that I had to sharpen out. And then this kind of hurts, you know, you have your, your, your M390 blade steel and whatnot. And then your, just your pocket knife that you, you, you cherish, you cherish your pocket knife. At least I do. I, I, I know this is kind of wrong because I coddle my blades. I've talked about it in, the, in another video, but I kind of like my pocket knife to, pr to be pristine, razor sharp, and I don't like to remove material from the blade and make it uh, and remove stuff from the thing I cherish uh, just because I didn't see and feel the metal clamps below the stupid tape, you know? So I carry this. Because this just cuts through through everything, and if I have a nick in the blade, I just throw it away and put another one in. And this is non-existent in my pants, and very handy. I like it a lot. I carry this actually every day, and it depends. It replaces. It actually replaces my pocket knife on some days. It does. Okay, so a couple people on the internet said that they they fiddle around with uh, getting a new blade in, and I'm gonna show you how I do it because. Um, uh, this is actually not too bad. You have you see this little ramp here There You have to push that thing the the button Against that ramp to bend the two pieces of the titanium outwards So what you have to do is you have to get in here with something you, Big idea design says you apply pressure. Yes, you can apply pressure with your thumb, but uh, that kind of feels like I'm going to damage that over time. I'm just going to try and wiggle something like a blade in here, then bend it, and then push that forward. Now, you see the button is against this little ramp here, and I can just remove the blade because this is bent open. And this is no hassle at all. I can just change blades and when I'm done you don't you don't have to do anything this is bent against that little ramp here on itself I don't have to hold anything I don't have to bend anything I just slide the blade in until I hit the some resistance when I do pull that back you're good to go new blade in okay so this was my these are my thoughts on the TPT slide I like it a lot. I think, in fact, it is the best utility blade so far. Um, I don't, I didn't have that many. I have the Giltec Ruck, which is also cool, and you can change blades without doing some some uh, stunts. But this is just kind. Of, it's a little. It is a little longer. It is a little thicker. Mm, this is too much for me. This is okay. So, I hope you like it. If you did, thank you for watching. I'm going to see how I like it without the pocket clip. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.